In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the spark plugs on this Toyota 4Runner. Let's get into it. We're going to disconnect the battery, the negative terminal, use a 10 millimeter wrench, loosen up the nut. And slide it off and out of the way. Disconnect the mass airflow sensor. There's just a little push tab. Just push that down. Slide the connector off. Just pop this retainer off right here. You can use some needle nose pliers. Just squeeze the tabs. That slides off, out of the way. There's another retainer right here. This one's broken. Just pull that aside as well. And over here, there's a retainer. And pop that off. Pop this hose out of the bracket right there. There's another hose right here. Just use some hose pliers and just slide this off, just like that, out of the way. There's a hose up top. You can use some hose pliers. Just wiggle that back and forth. Slide that off. Set that aside. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to loosen up the worm clamps. That one there and right here. Grab the snorkel, slide it off the throttle body, and slide it off the mass airflow sensor. Disconnect the wire. We're going to use a pick and just get underneath here. We're going to pop this little cover off, slide that out, and it pops right off. This is what you're getting underneath. Just popping that clip up so that you can slide that off. Disconnect the connector, just push down on the tab, slide it up. Just like that. Using a 10 millimeter socket, take this bolt out. Grab the coil. Just rock it back and forth a little bit. Just pull it up and it slides right out. Just gonna blow the spark plug tube out in case there's any debris in there. Just use some compressed air. That's good. Using a 5 8 spark plug socket, there's a little rubber grommet in there to grab the spark plug. Slide that in with an extension and loosen up the plug. Once it's loose, you can do it by hand. And slide the plug out. Take the new spark plug. It's always a good idea to check the gap. You want that gap at 1.1 millimeters or 43 thousandths of an inch. Put it in the spark plug socket and slowly lower it into the hole. Start it by hand. And we'll torque this to 13 foot pounds. On the end where the spark plug goes, I'm just going to put a little dab of dielectric grease, not too much. It's more so it's easier to take the boots off later if you ever have to. And slide this down, wiggle it on, put the bolt in, and we're going to torque this bolt to 69 inch pounds. Line the connector up, plug it in, and just slide these out. And this one that was in the middle on that side is going to go to the rear on this side. I'm just using some hose pliers, just be careful on the wire. There is a bracket right here. You can just get around the bracket and just squeeze and pull the wire up. Get the wire out of the way. And you can slide that right out. Take some compressed air and just spray it down the hole. Just clean out any debris that's down in there. Using a 5 8 spark plug socket, there's a grommet in there to hold the spark plug. Just slide it down the back side. And 
loosen up the spark plug. And just slide it out. Take the new spark plug. It's always a good idea to check the gap. The gap should be 1.1 millimeters or 43 thousandths of an inch. And very carefully slide the spark plug back in the hole. Don't drop it. Start it by hand. And we're gonna to torque this to 13 foot-pounds. I'm just gonna take a little dielectric just on the end of the wire. Just a little dab. Slide it down the spark plug hole and push that down. The wire I'm gonna run underneath here. Slide the wire in the clips where it came out. And clip these all in place. Lock this wire down here. And then push the lock over the top. And that's clipped in. And you can do the same procedure for the other spark plugs. Take the snorkel, line it up. That's good. There's a hose up here. I'm gonna line that up. Push that on, make sure it's in the bracket. There's a hose right here. Slide that tube on. Tighten down the worm clamps. This hose right here, it's gonna go right there. Line the connector up. Plug it in. If this retainer was in somewhere, you wanna plug that back in. Right there, this should go right here. Now connect the negative terminal. And then tighten it down. And snug it up. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.